This is the Hyper Transport Lab, which is an acronym that stands for the High Pressure Immersion and Reactive Transport Laboratory. One of the things that we do in this laboratory is we try and test and find better ways to get energy. We study a variety of different geological and engineered media, from ambient conditions to high pressure and temperature conditions. It's not easy for us to go down to 1,000, 2,000 feet underground and see what's going on there. So we can kind of scale up our reactions to occur at these different subsurface environments that we wouldn't normally be able to observe easily from the surface. In the Hypertransport Lab, you see a bunch of large steel robot-looking machines with large cylinders and tubes coming off of them. We have stirred autoclaves and we have rocking autoclaves and we have different flow-through systems. These are pressurized, really strong steel containers and then we can bring those up to pressures over 2,000 PSI and temperatures over 100 degrees C. This laboratory really has as its specialty an envelope of the environment that includes anywhere from the bottom of the well bore in an oil field to the cooler side of a power plant effluent. Right, I mean, a lot of this research is directly related to different oil and gas industries. If you think back to the Gulf of Mexico oil spill, one of the um, contributing factors to that was the failure of the cement. In essence, what we're trying to look at is how different materials might respond to different acids or different leaching solutions. In other projects, we were more geared towards looking at what reactions extract the most precious metals. We're looking at corrosion of different metals and alloys. These materials will be used for infrastructure, either bridges, pipelines, in the nuclear facilities, power facilities, ships, military. So we need to understand how the material perform corrosion-wise. So it will resist and we will be helping to the safety. So all of this has some direct or indirect impact to our economy, if not our society at large. We are going to continue to use fossil energy for a long time. And it's important, even as we make transitions over to renewable energy, that everything that we do comes down to understanding. We provide useful and exciting research to help secure the nation's energy future, and that involves both preventing problems associated with hydrocarbon production and increasing our efficiency in the process. When we think of some of the you know, events that we've had through our history, whether it's infrastructure or oil, gas well blowouts, they all affect our planet. And I think some of the research we do here is to help us be more sustainable and even more safe through the future.